Magandang buhay po at welcome po sa aking channel. Channel po na makakatulong sa inyo sa inyong pag-aaral ngayon pong panahon ng pandemic. Ngayon po ay tuturuan ko po kayo on how to find the distance of two points using the distance formula. So, paano nga ba ito gawin? This lesson is for grade 10 learners at ginawa ko po itong Tagalog version upang sa ganun ay mas lalo po ninyong maunawaan yung aking pagpapaliwanag. At sa ating pong pagpapatuloy, kung kao po ay bago sa aking channel, click mo lamang ang like and subscribe upang sa ganun ay ma-update ka sa iba pang mga video tutorial na aking i-upload sa mga susunod na araw. Sa ngayon po ay nagagawa po po ako ng mga learning tasks or performance tasks sa mga susunod na lesson. Na distance formula. The distance between two points, whether or not they are aligned horizontally or vertically, can be determined using the distance formula. So, in a Cartesian plane, you can easily find the distance between two points if the two points aligned horizontal or vertical. You just count how many units between them. But if the two points are not aligned horizontal or vertical, meaning to say, if you connect the two points and you form a line which is slanting line, then you cannot count the distance or the units between them. So, what are going to do? We are going to use the distance formula. So, I will give you a short background about the distance formula. So, yung distance formula po is came from the concept of right triangle. In a right triangle, we use the Pythagorean theorem. This is your lesson when you were in grade 9. Ano po? So, sa Pythagorean theorem, we need to have the sides of the tri right triangle which is ABC and C is the hypotenuse. Ano po? So, the Pythagorean theorem states that C is equal to A squared plus B squared. So, yung concept nito ay gagamitin natin para ma-formulate natin yung distance formula. For example, hindi right triangle ang given wherein there are two points or a line. Okay? In our figure, we have two points there, point 1 and point 2. And that is the length of the hypotenuse of the right triangle in our figure. Ano po? So, no, paano po ba kukunin yung distance between point 1 and point 2? Uh, by using the distance formula. Okay. So, mula po dyan, since nasa Cartesian plane po tayo, yung point 1, we have coordinates. And point 2, have also coordinates. So, gagamitin natin yung coordinates na yan to get the distance between point 1 and point 2. At ano ba yung distance formula? So, from the Pythagorean theorem, yung a squared, okay, ginamit yung coordinates na x squared minus or x sub 2 minus x sub 1 rather square plus yung b is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 and then square. Ano po? So, that's, that is how the distance formula formulated. Okay, let's try to find the distance or the length of side C in our right triangle in the figure. So, we determine first the length of side A. We just count 1, 2, 3, 4. And for side B, we count 1, 2, 3. So, A is equal to 4 units and B is equal to 3 units. Pero yung side C or yung hypotenuse sa right triangle, hindi po natin pwedeng i-count. Ano po? So, to find the length of side C, we will use the Pythagorean theorem. So, after we solve this one, so solve din natin yung length niyan, yung side C na yan, using the distance formula, at i-compare natin if we arrive at the same answer. Ano po? Okay, so by using the Pythagorean theorem, C is equal to square root of A squared plus B squared. So, C is equal to A is equal to 4 from the figure, so 4 is squared, plus B is equal to 3, so 3 is squared. Then, simplify the exponent, so this will become C is equal to square root of 4 is squared is 16, plus 3 is squared is 9. So, C is equal to 16 plus 9 is equal to 25, and square root of 25 is 5. Actually, there are 2 square root of 25. Uh, 5 and negative 5. But we are discussing about distance. So, wala pong negative distance. So, i-consider lang po natin yung positive uh, square root. Ano po? So, therefore, our C or the length of C or the hypotenuse is equal to 5. So, isosolve din natin yan using the coordinates and the distance formula if we arrive at the same answer. So, we computed that C is equal to 5. Now, we try to solve the distance between two points or the hypotenuse by using the coordinates. So, for the first uh, point or point 1, nasa baba. So, if you get the coordinates, the coordinates are 2, 2. Tama po ba? 
and we set the other point as point 2 and the coordinates are 5 and 6. Okay, tama po yan. So, from the given figure, point, our point 1 is 2, 2 and our point 2 is 5, 6. So, we set point 1. Okay, so therefore, x sub 1, y sub 1 and for point 2, x sub 2, y sub 2. So, gagamitin po natin yung given na yan to solve the distance between the two points. Ano po? So, using the distance formula, okay, sa substitute lang po natin yan. So, this equal to x sub 2 po natin is uh, 5, then x sub 1 is 2, so 5 minus 2 square plus y sub 2 po natin is 6 minus y sub 1 is 2, so 6 minus 2. And then subtract first, so this will become 5 minus 2 is 3 is square plus 6 minus 2 is 4 is square. And then simplify the exponent, 3 is square is equal to 9 plus 4 is square is equal to 16. Then add 9 plus 16 is equal to 25. And the square root of 25 is equal to 5. So therefore, we arrive at the same answer which were in the distance between point 1 and point 2 or the hypotenuse is equal to 5. Okay, we use this concept to determine the distance between two points in some problems. Okay, number 1. Find the distance between point P with coordinates 1, 3 and point Q with coordinates 7, 11. So, first, we determine the given. So, our point P is 1, 3, and point Q is 7, 11. So, we set point 1 as first point, and point Q as second point. Kaya yung P is x sub 1, y sub 1, and our Q is x sub 2, y sub 2. So, using the distance formula, okay, nasa screen po, we just substitute. Since we, or the problem as the distance between PQ, so sa substitute lang po natin sa distance yung PQ. So, the distance between P and Q, kaya PQ po yan. Ano po? So, substitute the given, our x sub 2 is 7 minus x sub 1 is 1. So, 7 minus 1 is square. Ano po? Then plus, our y sub 2 is 11 and y sub 1 is 3. So, plus 11 minus 3 squared. Okay. Subtract po muna natin. So, this will become... 7 minus 1 is 6 square plus 11 minus 3 is 8 square. And then simplify the exponent. Task po natin. So, PQ is equal to 6 square is 36 plus 8 square is 64. And then we add. So, 6, 36 plus 64 is equal to 100. And the square root of 100 is 10. So, therefore, the distance between uh, P and Q is 10 units. Okay, number two, find the distance between point x, negative 1, negative 1, and point y, 3, negative 4. Again, first, identify the given, set x as our point 1, and set y as our point 2. So, x is x sub 1, y sub 1, and y is x sub 2, y sub 2. So, we use the distance formula, then substitute xy is equal to, our x sub 2 is 3, and x sub 1 is equal to negative 1. So, square root of 3 minus negative 1 is squared. Ano po? And then, plus, our y squared is negative 4, and our y sub 1 is negative 1. So, plus negative 4 minus negative 1 squared. Okay, so we are going to simplify. Okay, we subtract first. So, 3 minus negative 1. So, minus negative 1 yun po yan, kaya maging plus yan. So, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So, 4 is squared. Plus, negative 4 minus negative 1. So, minus negative 1, kaya maging plus yan. Kaya, negative 4 plus 1. And what is negative 4 plus 1? That is equal to negative 3. So, plus negative 3 is squared. Then, simplify po natin yung kalang exponent. What is 4 is squared? 16. And yung negative 3 squared is 9. Then, add. 16 plus 9 is equal to 25, and the square root of 25 is equal to 5. So therefore, the distance between x and y is 5 units. Okay, number 3. The vertical line EF, using the distance formula, determine the distance between E, or point E, negative 7, 0, and point F, 8, 0. 
So again, we determine the given. So point A is negative 7, 0 and point F, 8, 0. So we set first point, yung point E. So x sub 1, y sub 1. Set point F as second point, kaya x sub 2, y sub 2. So using the distance formula, so EF is equal to x sub 2 po natin is 8 and y sub 1 is negative 7. So square root of 8 minus negative 7 is squared. Then plus plus po natin, y sub 2 is 0 minus y sub 1 is equal to 0. So plus 0 minus 0 is squared. Then we are going to subtract first. So this will become 8 minus negative 7. So again, magiging plus yan. So 8 plus 7 is equal to 15 squared. And then 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 squared. So, so this will become EF is equal to, square po natin yung 15. So, 15 squared is equal to 225 plus 0 squared is equal to 0. Then add, 225 plus 0 is 225 and the square root of 225 is equal to 15. So therefore, the distance between uh, EF is uh, 5 units. Okay, number 4. Find the distance between the two points 0, 3 and negative 5, 7. So first, identify again the given 0, 3 and negative 5, 7. So magsiset po tayo ng point 1, point 2. So kahit saan po dyan. So set po natin yung 0, 3 at, as point 1. So x sub 1, y sub 1. At negative 5, 7 yung point 2 natin. So x sub 2, y sub 2. So again, using the distance formula, substitute the given. So this is equal to okay, x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So negative 5 minus 0 is squared. Then, pa-plus po natin yung y sub 2 minus y sub 1. So, 7 minus 3 squared. And then, subtract po natin. Negative 5 minus 0 is negative 5 squared. Plus, 7 minus 3 is 4. Kaya, 4 is squared. Then, simplify the exponent. Negative 5 squared is 25 plus 4 squared is 16. Then, add 25 plus 16 is equal to 41. So, square root of 41 is not a perfect square. O yung 41 is not a perfect square. So, no need to get the decimal. So, pwede na po yan na length ng 2 points. So, the distance between the 2 points is square root of 41 units. Salamat po sa inyong panood. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Marami po akong ginagawang mga video tutorial po sa mga susunod na lesson.